Hey and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to stabilize your footage within Blender. So let's change this to the movie clip editor and we can load in our movie clip. Okay, so now you want to scrub through here and find your end frame. You can press E on the keyboard to set your end frame. Now we can prefetch. Okay, so what we need to do is set two markers and these are going to handle the stabilization and the rotation for the footage. So to do that we need two markers. We could use this up here or let's just jump to the end frame and zoom in. In fact we can use this down here, this bench. Um, click search. Also we need to change the motion to location rotation, previous frame and normalize. Depending on your footage you will need different settings but this seems to work fine for me. So I'm just going to scale it and place it. Okay, so now we need to track this forward or backwards depending on where we are. Since we're actually at the end frame, we need to track this backwards. If we look up here, it seems to work fine. Scrub through. Yeah, it sticks there, no problem. So the other rotation marker that we're going to put down needs to be on the opposite side. So let's look over here. Yeah, there's a little marker there we can use. So let's just track that forwards. That seems to work fine. I noticed there is um, a boat behind it. So it, does it affect the marker? Not really. See the top of the sail there? There's another one up there. That seems to be fine. So now with these two uh, markers we can set things up. We need to go to display and check display stabilization so we can see what we're doing. Then come down here to 2D stabilization. Check that box. And now we need to select one of these. I'm going to select this one here and press add. So now it's doing the stabilization, but it's cutting off the uh, the footage. So what we need to do is, <clears throat> if you scroll through and come here to the auto scale, and now it seems to work fine, but it's taking a lot of the screen away. Since it's not really that blurry, we can uh, bring some back. So if you come here to the scale influence and drop it down a bit, you can bring some of that back. But make sure the borders don't meet. You need to scrub through your timeline, make sure it doesn't you know come through the onto the screen. So now with this other marker selected, we can do the rotation. You just check stabilize rotation and add. And there you go. Stabilization is much better than it was before. If we come up here to the display, so this is the original, and then this is the um, stabilized. So if you render that now, you'd be hoping to render it off, but we still need to do a little bit more. So we change this to the node editor, down here to scene, use nodes, and backdrop. So what we can do is just move this out of the way. Press X to delete that. Shift A and we want to add in the movie clip. And we come here to this box and we've already got the movie clip loaded up. So just connect these up now. Okay, so we need to put in uh, the stabilize node, but I'm not sure where it is, so I'm just going to go to search and then start typing stabilize. There we go, stabilize 2D. Just put that down there and connect these up and connect this to the viewer and select the movie clip. And there we go, the rotation's been fixed. So you can render that out now as you want, but I would suggest adding a bit of color grading. Um, there's a tutorial I've already done on advanced color grading, so you want to go check that out, it's very quick and easy to do. I'm just going to quickly show you how you do it. What we're going to do is add in a uh, mix, but change it to soft light. And we're going to mix the original with a satur desaturated uh, version of itself. With soft light, we can knock it back, and it will uh, add a bit more shadows to your um, to your render. So yeah, I hope this helped. Um, if it did, give it a like, and also make sure you subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching.